So very good evening boys and girls and welcome to the very end of Spain Point. This place is so big, all you really need is a tip to enjoy yourself. But I'm going to enjoy myself tonight taking the photos of some lighthouses and a couple of piers. We're going to catch some long exposure filters out shortly. But first I just wanted to take a golden old photograph of the lighthouse on this beach with the old post just framing it as a nice foreground. So let's get stuck in, let's take a photograph. 1250th of a second F5 ISO 200 two second timer. Using the post as a foreground, the lighthouse as a subject, so there's some nice golden hour shadow being crossed. Across this scene. Here's the image. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become So this is my next subject for the evening. This is the Low Lighthouse at Spain Point. It sits inside of the tide. This isn't the North Sea, this is actually the Humber Estuary here. Spain Point splits the North Sea and the Humber Estuary too. And that's why you managed to get tides on this side as well, because the Humber Estuary is tidal. So we're currently at high tide. Now, I've been here a few times before to take a photograph of that lighthouse and I've always been really quite attracted to this wall here. This wall kind of zigzags its way across, it zigzags all the way around here and it points towards the lighthouse back there. And every time I've been here to take this photograph, I don't know if I've maybe rushed it or I've not really been in the mood after the hike, but today I really want to spend some time and just get the settings right, wait for the right conditions and really try to nail a composition using this zigzaggy wall leading up to the lighthouse. All right, so in my last video, one of you, Hugh Elbon, it was, commented asking, why do I leave the image stabilisation on when my camera's on the tripod? Well, you'll notice I have actually turned it off. It was one of them things that I often forget about and I just leave in place. So we're turning it off tonight and seeing what difference it makes. So the camera is set up in position. So we've got a composition looking a little bit something like this. So we've got the wiggly wavy wall coming in from the bottom left-hand side of the frame. We've got the lighthouse on the left-hand side, rule of thirds. And we've just got a little bit of the bam coming in just to balance out on that side. Now if I spin the camera around, you'll notice that that really overexposes. That's because the sun is still out just a little tiny bit. Now I'm kind of hoping, if I can reframe myself here, let's spin around. I'm kind of hoping that as the, where am I? As the sun sets, we get a little bit of colour in the sky and things kind of soften off a little bit. Things are looking a little bit too harsh right now, even with the 10 stop ND filler on. So I'm just going to hang around for a little while. We've got an hour and a half until sunset. So as things start to drop down and progress a little bit, and maybe able to get quite a nice looking image. So I'm just going to chill out, hang out, and see how this one turns out. Ah. So I'm just sitting down, having a bit of a chill out with the sunsets. It's really kind of dropped down low now, and the wind's picked up, and there's a bit of a chill in the air. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of glad I brought a long sleeve coat with me in the bag. So like I said, we're still waiting to take this photograph of this low lighthouse, and I really am just waiting to see if there's any colour that's going to pop up in the sky, but we are still an hour and 15 minutes away from sunset and it's uh i'm getting a little bit bored now i'm not gonna lie so we may we just have to bite the bullet because there's one more photograph that i want to take tonight there's a pier behind where you are and it faces pretty much where the sun is setting so i'm kind of wondering if you might be able to get some really pretty sky there there's clouds of all various different altitudes tonight so when the sun does drop there's a good chance that something fun might happen so i'm gonna give it another 15 minutes to see what materializes here i might just take the photograph and move off to the pier a little bit further down, but I'm really hoping that turning off the image stabilisation on my camera while it's on a tripod is going to improve the sharpness just a little bit. You see, when the camera's on the tripod, it's still, like you said in the comment, it's still looking for movement, so it's still trying to compensate a little bit. So I'm just wondering if turning the stabilisation off is really going to improve the sharpness of the photographs this evening. Only time will tell. All right, so I'm not going to lie, boredom has set in now. I don't think we're going to get any colour. It's just not really materialising. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to take the long exposure photograph and do the best of it we can. So we're at F9, 25 seconds, ISO 200. I'm using a polarising filter and a 10 stop filter. And here we go, using the two second timer. All right, so the next subject is this pier behind me. It's that scaffoldy type thing 
looking there. I didn't want to shoot the other way because the sun is setting literally at the end of the pier. So for now, there isn't really a photograph to be had there because it's just gonna, it's just gonna turn it to silhouette and or lens flares everywhere and we don't want that. So I'm really wondering if this is a proper sunset photo and that means I'm gonna be stood here now for the next half an hour, 45 minutes or so, waiting to see if that happens. But in order to get the photograph, I think it might have to be worth it because the composition I've been able to work out actually looks quite nice. We've got the pier coming in from the right-hand side or the end of the jetty or the left-hand side. And we've got all sorts of water and all sorts of fun-looking cloud behind it. So I'm wondering if it may be worth just hanging on to take this photograph and just seeing how things develop. So uh, yeah, I'll just hang around, shiver a little bit, try and get out of the wind. I might crouch behind the wall for a little bit and well, we'll just see what happens with this one. All right, so I think there is just enough cloud in front of the sun now that we may be able to get away with a long exposure with the sun behind it. So we're sort of going to get the reflection of the sunlight on the water. So we're F11, eight seconds, ISO 200, and I'm just using the 10 stock filter here. I'm kind of hoping this one works because if we can get the reflection of the sunlight, it might look really, really cool with a silhouetted pier, the sunlight and a long exposure look. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, that looks beautiful. There is just this long streak of cloud going across the sun where the sun is. So that's giving the sky some real pop. We're getting a reflection of the water in the water, but we're also getting that long exposure. Look, I'm sorry for how dark this video is, but I just kind of wanted to retain a little bit of the sky behind it. So here's that photograph, and I really hope you like it. All right, so we've reached that time of day now where the sun has set and things are just starting to blow up a little bit. So I've moved down onto a little bit of exposed beach area, and we're just going to shoot up to the lighthouse the big white and black one that you normally see from Spain Point. We're still going to be able to get the long exposure because as you see at the end, the waves haven't quite gone out far enough. So we're still going to get that long exposure look with the water. And I thought shooting up towards the lighthouse with a bit, a bit of pastels colouring the sky, it might look quite nice. So let's get a composition set up and take one last long exposure photograph from Spain Point before we head back to the car and get warmed up a little bit. All right, so this might sound a little bit silly, but you can see what I'm doing here by using... The shadow clipping, obviously using the 10 stop ND filter, you're not really gonna be able to see much through the back of the camera, but if you look down here, you can see where the waves are just about sloshing around. This big black bit here is the wall, sorry, the blue bit here is the wall. And you can just see the lighthouse just perched up on top there. So 40 seconds, F9, ISO 200, 10 stop filter. Here we go, one final long exposure photograph from Spain Point this evening. So there we go. Just a night of long exposure photographs at Spain Point. I quite like this. We have ended up with a little bit of colour, a little bit of a sunset in the sky, which is always nice. But I think it's now time to get out of this wind and go back to the car. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up because it really does help bring you viewers to see my content. If you liked it more than that, below me there is a subscribe button. You can always press that and you'll see more nonsense from me and my cameras every single week. So until the next time, I'm going to love you and leave you and say peace and goodbye.